Hi, I'm Jasmine Pelliquin and I'm a large form at TSM in Winnipeg, Manitoba. My mentor is Gord Clooney. He's the Zone Sales Director out of Manitoba, Saskatchewan. My manager is Sean LeBreton and he's the Regional Sales Director out of Winnipeg, Manitoba. Hi, my name is Brandon Smoley. I'm the Western Wiring Cam for Walmart, Loblaws and Shoppers Drug Mart. My mentor is Chris Kachuk. He is the director of retail for the Frito-Lay side. Mark Hess is my boss. He's the director of retail for the beverages side. He works at the Calgary branch as well. So in order to drive 5% cold drink growth in large format, the first thing I had to do was understand how do we do that. So I met with Kevin Guthrow, he was my mentor as part of the CDA, to understand, okay, what are my overlaps, what are the CDA restrictions, and how do I balance short-term versus long-term sustainability. Once I could do that, I could sit down to this team, say what is going to be realistic. So what is it that we can actually do at a Walmart? What can we do at a Superstore? And how are we going to impact cold drink growth at a Safeway? What we did was we sat down and we said, okay, first of all, what is cold drink? Does the PCR team actually understand what that is? So does this drive cold drink? Yes, it does. Does this drive cold drink? Yeah, absolutely it does. But does this drive cold drink? No, because this is a take home package. So as long as they could understand how do I drive cold drink, what are the products, we could go from there. So what we did was we implemented it as a key fundamental in our weekly meetings. We would sit down and say, okay, where are we at from year to date now? So at that point, we were down 2%. So we said, okay, our goal is to grow five. We talked about that in weekly meetings. We talked about it in our one with ones. We went through reports, INI reports, as well as CanWest reporting, as well as talked about it when we were actually in the trade on RevRex. So a couple things to think about. Is the plan around set? Is it the key products that we want to have available? Is the cooler in prime location? And how are we actually doing versus our competitor? Does our competitor have three versus our two? Because if they have three and we have two, we're not winning. We need to win in the market. So if we can get three to their two, that's what we want to see. We want to see planogram execution. I'm really excited to tell you that as of P9 week four, we're actually growing at 7% on point. So what I've been doing is really working with the, uh, the field on driving the Better Together agenda. Um, I've been coaching the field on understanding the power of bringing the PepsiCo beverages and Frito-Lay Foods, uh, our brands, together and the benefits um, at store level. So research shows when we get that Frito-Lay and Pepsi in the basket that that basket's going to grow by 60%. So an average basket in a large farm would be $52, it's going to grow to that $82. So that's been a big, big play um, for the large format team. And it's really taking that uh, Frito-Lay family size bag of chips and that Pepsi 2 beer and how do we get them to display together in a store um, at, at the front and really drive the basket. If we put our small format lens on, it's really um, helping the customer drive uh, dollars to their till. So if a customer was to come and buy a $2, 240 uh, 591 mil drink, by putting a, a better together um, a package beside one another, we can help drive that customer, drive another $1.50 uh, at their till. So that's what really it is, is working um, as a, in a better together capacity and, and helping drive basket in large format and ring to the tail in small format. So one of the things I've been working on this year is collaborating and influencing with the warehouse team to drive growth in our unionized stores with pre-built pallets. We recognize there was an opportunity for Pepsi pallets like this to turn them into pre built and offer more flavor opportunities for the customer. What we did was, is we recognized there was objections coming from both sales and warehouse, which is why we weren't able to do this several months ago. So we sat down as a team and we said, okay, what are the objections? One of the objections coming from the warehouse team is, your accuracy is terrible. We were at a 20% accuracy, so we were forecasting 10 pre built but we were only selling through two of them, therefore the warehouse was actually housing this product. So what we did was say, okay, you know, what is something that we can agree on? 
Well, we decided we could agree that if we could achieve 80% accuracy, that they would go ahead and make these pre-built pallets. So what we did was we designated a PCR. So one of the PCRs met with the warehouse team on Thursdays, and they would actually talk about where are we at right now. So how much have we sold through for the week, and then what do we want to do for next week? I'm really excited to tell you that we have achieved 80% accuracy, and we're working very well with the warehouse team. So my KDA number two was building my financial literacy, so it's really knowing the business cold. So what I've done is I've scheduled uh, monthly one-on-ones with Mike Fink, who is our uh, beverage uh, director of finance here in Calgary. So I've sat down with him and Mike's gone through um, some spreadsheets and templates with me, really highlighting where we, where we make money, what products are most profitable for us, how when we um, look to load in for features, how that correlates and what we look for, for break-even points or, or growth uh, for our 2015 model. I've, always, um, I've also sat down with my boss, who's Marquez, the Director of Retail for Western Canada, and we've done some coaching exercises where I'm looking at, at weekly, monthly, um, quarterly, um, uh, load ins and volume reports and break even points and whatnot, and just getting a better understanding of looking at, at numbers through the uh, Pepsi beverage lens on a, on a uh, daily basis. So, I talked about earlier about looking at volume. Um, when I come to a store, it's really understanding if we're on feature on a two for four, did we load in enough product and are we loading in the right product to support a feature uh, to break even? when we invest in a two for four and really understanding what that break even point is and going down in a more granular level level and looking at a store basis, knowing that 20 cases need to be loaded into a store to offset a two for four or um, from a, a higher level, if we have an aggressive target to grow a Starbucks brand for 2015, what do those weekly, monthly or quarterly reads look like to hit that uh, double digit, digit growth? For me, one of the highlights from LAP has really been around personal development. So oftentimes in our jobs, we get caught up in a bunch of different things, but we don't actually sit down and say, what is it that I want to do this year? So one thing that LAP has done for us is just really develop two strong goals that we were able to work towards. So leveraging my manager and my mentor, I was able to talk about something specific that I wanted to work on and action against it, and the results have been phenomenal. So for me, it's just been around personal development. I think it was great that we were able to bring uh, the Frito-Lay and Beverage uh, partners together for this year at LAP. I think networking is a, um, it's a very powerful tool when we look at critical experiences and, and what other sales managers or key account managers have done or, or some of these struggles they've had or some of the wins they've had and really speaking with them on a daily, weekly or monthly basis and, and taking some of these best practices and using them uh, yourself, uh, whether with the customers, internally, externally, but again, just really leveraging that networking, whether it be through telephone, email, uh, coffees, dinners, whatever it is. So KDA's uh, outlook for balance of year would be leveraging our Better Together platform. In Q4, we have our big uh, Ray Cup Better Together platform that we should be leveraging, as well as uh, December, we know that a lot of salty snacks and CSDs are purchased. And when we look at the financial piece, it's really leveraging our 591 mil, getting the team to understand um, driving the 591 mil business as we look at the whole year. And for balance of year, I'm going to be working with my new manager, Kevin Guthrow, along with Gord, to better understand Tropicana and Gatorade as the new key account manager for Sobeys Western Canada. And it really is uh, um, critical experiences for uh, um, um, our other mentor. Uh, networking would be a big uh, a plus when I look at the LAP P program here. It enables you to reach out to other um, people within the, 
blah, 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 blah. Weekly, monthly, um, quarterly, um, uh, upper break even points, break even points, break even, redo. <laughs>